On behalf of Akuno San Kofa Bay, you know what I'm saying? Jay, where you at? We're trying to help our people elevate. Hope. H O P E. We giving them hope. We doing what we gotta do, you know. Should Every day, one step right. at a time, man. We gonna make it happen. Helping our people elevate. Yeah. Sometimes I practice focused thought and meditate. I'm trying to come with other ways to help our people elevate and seek knowledge, make me levitate. The lifted mental state is what results from how we orchestrate. This for the family's sake. Let's self reflect and self evaluate. And every day, make sure the steps you take, you calculate. Receive a master's fate. I know I can't exist without the hate, but that's okay. I balance that with higher self today. Success is on its way, and after that, my flesh can pass away. Good evening, people. Back to another episode of Community Convos with your boy. Akono Bay. Eno. And Eno, the chosen one. We missing one one partner, but, you know, things going in the world. People got to keep on moving, baby. So we up here. It's the three of us. We're Man, trying to be so love. Yeah, peace <laughs> and love. Peace and love. To my Morris people all over the planet Earth. And with Morris, Morris power. Because you know how this shit get. Yeah, yeah, it's get real. It get real. So leave your feelings on the sideline. Man. So, we're going to start with Brother Muhammad. Or Brother Shabazz. Introduce yourself for the people. You know what I'm saying? Tell the people who you are, bro. Where, 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 where we at right now? Uh, we in the community convo. 918 Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma. My name is Andre Shabazz Bay. Or you can call me Bish Me La Shabazz Bay. Um, I studied in the Nation of Islam. I went through the five percenter. You know, I did all type of various studies. Um, but right now my focus is on well, spiritual wise, you know, I'm an Orthodox Muslim. But at the same time, I'm a I'm a Moorish American. I would like to you know, get my nationality, you know what I mean, and bring the fight to the people because I'm still down for my people. But my spirituality is different from me helping the people in the community. Uh, that, that That's more that look like me. So, you know, not to get the, too confused, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm a more, but at the same time, I'm following the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salam, peace be upon him. Brother mm -hmm. so. well, Eno. Hit them with that knowledge. Give them that background. Let us know a little bit about the chosen one. Well, you know, I'm I'm uh an old Paul Paul. No, I'm just playing. Let me stop it. Now let me get through this. I'm a California native uh, Oklahoma resident. I've been raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma, on Marshall and Greenwood since 1988. You know, the real Wall Street. I done been a prison for murder. I done been a prison for a gun. We, I'm, I'm, I'm the reason. Me and the 1990 guys that was out here doing stuff to tear down the community, even though we thought we was had our brotherhood right, we the reason that the gun task force just got uh, uh, established in Tulsa, Oklahoma. There go, there go, Scotty Slim, baby. We was missing one. There you go, y'all here. So, so. It was fellas like us that was running. We had we had our brotherhood in our hood, but we had we had morals, we had dedication, and we had unity. And now, since I've been out the penitentiary, I see it ain't no unity. In, 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 in the sense, I've done that no more. So I just be like, bro, why even do it? So. I'm going to call him some brother at Kino, but he got some knowledge, and we've been chopping it up, so uh, so we need to come up with a platform to reach the community and figure out what's going on, figure out what we can do, because we help destroy things, so we need to help men them back together. We need to help rebuild it. We're going to talk about it. Brother Slim, peace and love, my brother. How you doing? Peace, brother Slim. 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 Tell the people a little bit about yourself and where you, you know what I'm saying, a little background about yourself. Uh, man, I grew up in North Tulsa, uh, Greenwood area. I mean, shoot, from the north, man. Anybody know me know that. Um, 
I kind of grew up in the community, man, see some things, how things change. Um, like bro said, back in the day, we kind of had like a sense of loyalty, like a sense of camaraderie. Like I see how they kind of shift and how they change with the different time and different generation. You know what I mean? Change. Mm -hmm. uh, more about me, though. Uh, I'm a vlogger, a uh, newfound vlogger. I got a YouTube channel, Thugtown TV. Uh, really, I'm just out here trying to put on for the town and uh, kind of give like a platform for local entrepreneurs to kind of build, they, uh, promote their brand, you know, just kind of give some light to the town, man. You know what I mean? Anybody know me? I always been a guy to pass the ball, man, and put on for the city, man, or try to anyway. That's right. All right. So me, myself, again, those that know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, we all North Tulsa. We all are North Tulsa residents. North Tulsa, no doubt. North Side Worldwide, man. Eighties babies. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We all been in it for a long time. But the reason that this platform is because all of us, our conscious minds, all of us are brothers who have done active work in our community, whether it be feeding the homeless, doing something for the youth hosting a community event or even helping host a community. We've all done various things in the town of Tulsa. And so like the brother Eno was saying, we've all also been a part of destroying it. So why not change the narrative and do something different? Sorry. It's not what it used to be. And, and, and to see that, this is why I brought these brothers together. Because if you're from Tulsa, most of what most people are going to be, what they doing together. This is like some BDGD Chicago stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Let's go back so far. Right. They, w w what y'all doing? Well, again, leave your feelings on the side. But the thing about that, though, though, is I'm glad that, you know, we can do this, like, here where we at. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that can open the door for a lot of other different things. Like, but I've been noticing a lot. The narrative's been kind of shifting with the whole camaraderie and uh, people kind of bearing, like, some of the old beefs and some of the old past problems and kind of getting past that and start building, like, you know, new kind of uh relationships and you know old men and old relationships like mm -hmm. we know we follow the trend from like the land right so i'll be watching the podcast with uh -huh. different people out there in the land you know you know we was talking about that the last time bro and they kind of got away from the negative and they kind of coming together start doing stuff so i'm seeing it kind of the energy shift so we might be on to something you know what i mean we could, i feel like we could do it here and then hey maybe somebody else might pick up on it and then it'll spread yeah, somewhere spread else it. and then, hey man they still gonna be on to something I'm glad you said that because I was saying to myself earlier, I'm starting to see a lot of people doing the same thing. Or right, right, right. You know how they go. Like, hmm. But I, I feel like I'm the first one, and I'm going to say it on my platform. I'm the first one to bring all different type of walks on one platform. No doubt. Facts. You know Prison interviews, local artist interviews, conscious interviews. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? I'm really you know yeah. saying? building with the people on, on various right. levels. I don't see that here in the town. So I'm I'm, I'm taking credit for that. We yeah. definitely do more of that. So <laughs> I mean, at that. Hey, yeah, you get my, hey, you got somebody got to open yeah. the door, man, and maybe so a couple of us can walk through there and maybe kick the back door down and then let more people in through the back. And then should we take over the whole household, man? So sure. I want to I be the Zach TV of the town. Rest in peace to Zach TV. You know what I'm saying, but okay, no doubt. Well, well we can, but I want to bring the, I want to bring the community together, though. You know, Facts. Right. Right. That, 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 there was a difference between you and Zach, though. Yeah. You know, no disrespect to Brother Zach. Rest in peace. But Brother Zach was still out there gangbanging, and his rivals caught up with him and killed him. Even though he wasn't out there like tripping. But you know, he was just going to different places and you know, I mean he still didn't put his flag, he didn't put his flag down. But rest in peace to that brother though. You know. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I was talking to brother, you know, earlier and it was like something I wanted to talk about, uh, that I think that we can do it, and we'll discuss it offline. I mean a, a way that we could do it, but I was looking at how TI just recently uh built hundred and forty three units for the uh homeless mm. in Georgia in Atlanta. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? And I believe it was like a year or two ago where uh, Kodak Black had uh, paid 20, 28 families in Mercy Park, Mercy Place Apartments. He paid their rent for a year. Mm. Not so saying, beautiful. Saying, just, just saying as far as like and then, uh, Slim Thug, we all know Slim Thug about the whole neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Just saying in the essence where 
we can get the community to put some, some money together and we can buy our own grocery store. We can buy our own laundromat. We can buy our own, build our own community, community uh, store. Right. Fine, let's build. Right. I know most people be tired from the nine to five, but if, if, if it has an incentive behind it, kind of like the mm -hmm. James Hayes, if we know there's there's going to be a positive result, if we know there's there's something coming from this, let's get out there and put it together. Right, right. I don't right. Like getting out there like like my partner brother Quasi every week he's out there in the garden, you know what I'm saying with the, with the youth planting planting watermelon strawberries, you know what I'm saying. What's up right there? You know what I'm saying. Let's teach them how to live off the land too. You know, let's give them some game. You know, some news they can use. You feel me? Because shoot, hey, right. You know, you never know when you have to go back to that. You know what I mean? They're cultivating. You know what I mean? That's just being one with nature. You know, they goes all back. You know, to the life lessons that you know they may not have had, you know what I'm saying, or missed out on, you know what I mean? So sometimes that's a good thing with go back to the old ways to survive. Yeah, for sure, definitely. You know I'm saying as far as like being out there with nature. You know what I'm saying? Fishing, uh like I say, gar agriculture, gardening, you know what I'm saying? Uh getting out there, learning how to cut down some trees and, and building a home. Build building we may need to build a boat. You may have to get on some water and escape. You never know what may happen. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Talk. Just uh, group economics is something that I wanted to know myself to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And just an example, this right here is twelve hundred dollars, and that's 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 the minimum I'm thinking in my head. Just us four right here is twelve hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or well, uh, and yeah, that's the minimum. But I mean, if we go with the max, let's just say throughout a year. When I had that conversation about going to the club, right? That's three, six, nine, twelve. That's two hundred dollars. Now, again, imagine all the motherfuckers in the club, and this is just four people. That's two hundred dollars right there. That can go into some type of building, some type of fun, or in, or in the essence like uh, and I'm just ranting like again. This, you know, talking, talking. I ain't even, I ain't even got my mind right yet. <laughs> As the brother Cosmo, one of the elder Moors, gave me some game. It was him and three other brothers. Same thing uh, O.W. Gurley did. They invested in some property. And as long as each individual had their amount, say the rent, $800. Uh -huh. As long as you got your $200 each month, I got my $200, and both, both of them got their $200 each month. Rent is paid. You can sell whatever you want out the store. He gonna sell his product. I'm gonna sell my product. He gonna sell his product, and we all gonna be able to eat. You know what I'm saying? Say you wanted to sell fruit. Say bro had some electronics. Say bro had some shea butter or some 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 clothes or something. You know what I mean? Some jerseys or something. You gonna make that two hundred real quick. Real quick, flip that, boom, that's rent. Now the rest of it is towards, we are pitching on electric, but then the rest of that go in your pocket. And what you invest back into your business. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just talking, bro. Uh, go ahead. Hey, so know, since we're talking about economics uh govern government and governor um i think as a people we need to learn how to get our own banking system started because we can't we can't go to war without no bank mm -hmm. you know what i mean and, and we need to have people in there that, that's trustworthy you know what i mean to protect our dollars you know what i mean bring our dollars together Let me ask and, you a question. Uh -huh. how do you think we regain that trust well, bro, tell you the truth, we we got to do a lot of cleaning out our own backyard, bro. We got it's a lot of untrustworthy ones amongst us, and we got to be able to weed those out from the ones we can trust, bro. And it's it's gonna be a process, but we got to be able to know how to do that. You know what I mean? We got to be able to know how to do that because the the reason we really behind in the war, in the war. 
ain't always physically. You know what I mean? But this right. is a war. It's because we got too many of us that look like us holding us back from progress. Right. That's like yeah, so, there was yeah. a question asking Brother Quasi's class a couple of uh, months back. Besides a gun and a knife, what are some mm -hmm. other, what's, what are some other weapons used to destroy people? Uh, besides a gun and a knife, what are other weapons used to destroy people? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, it's envy. The pen. The penitentiary, yes, the penal no, system. No, no. Remember, the pen is mightier than the sword. Oh yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? The pen, music. Yeah. The food. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. These are more deadlier than the gun and the knife. Yeah, most definitely. Because that chemicals in the food, chemical warfare, a lot of us don't even be seeing that coming. I could just write life or 145 years. That pen is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that pen is dangerous. Yeah. You can be innocent. Yeah. That's what 145. You're going to die in there, yeah. Yeah. Again, the music. Kill, kill, kill. Shake your ass. That's that's killing yeah. our people. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? That's that's like oh, well that's a whole other subject with the artists. I ain't even gonna talk about them right now. But uh Okay, so yeah, gaining the trust of the people. Like uh, yeah. Community events. Those some things I think like okay, so me and you me and you done been a part of a few community events. Uh the one downtown with the George Floyd. Right. Uh, we did the uh, Greenwood Sunday Fun Days. Right. Uh, and it was something else. It'll come to me. But do you think those things like hosting community events will bring the trust in the community or, or having, <laughs> having community events? It, it, it'll help. It, it, it'll help bring trust in the community because once the people look like us, see us do things that help the people out, you know, it, it will gain trust, especially more trust of sisters. And we really can't do this without the sisters, really. You know what I mean? Okay. We have to really, we have to be together as a, as a unit. You know what I mean? And the sisters got to be able to see us want to do something to make a change. You know what I mean? Because as men, we are supposed to be the leaders. So, you know, once we do that, uh, and take care of the community, take care of the children, and then we gain the sisters' trust. And then once the sisters start trusting us, it'll bring the whole community together. Like, uh, and see, that's what I, mean, I remember when I was first w with the Yoruba culture. That's what my chief had told me. He was like, they were doing their thing in the projects, and they would go, they would go greet the sisters. And once they mm -hmm. got the sisters' attention, then the rest of the, the brothers will start coming around. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because the brothers was like, what they over there doing? Correct. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, correct. And so it makes sense. Uh, but how do we get our sisters to recognize their, their, their true potential or their true gift, their true essence? Uh, well, it's just like the same, like, uh, Okay, for instance, it's just like the same like in any religion. Like if you want somebody to believe what you do or be a part of what you do, you have to be a leading example. And so I'm starting to figure that out. Like we can't force nothing on nobody. We just have to be the example. And once we be the example, everything else is going to fall in. And that's been proven time and time again throughout history. Right. Yeah. So, you know. All right. Yeah. Uh, back to the economics. All right. So let me ask you, what are the five things you think are most important that we need in our community? Uh, banking system. Mm -hmm. uh, hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, shelter. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Uh, two more other things we also need in the community. Oh, yeah. We also need a place of... Uh, uh, schooling, you know, the schooling. We need a food source, don't we? Yes, in a food source. Those five things. A grocery store, yeah. Yeah. So a bank. What you said, a bank. Mm hmm. You said uh, bank. Say them again. 
bank, uh, store, schooling yeah. system, uh, hospital. Yeah. Uh, and the last one was a. Uh, oh yeah, shelter, shelter, shelter. Yeah, shelters. Yeah, shelter. Yep. Now that sounds like something that a lot of our our leaders were pushing for before our time. Yeah, but we still got to push that. We get those five things, and we can work on some more. Brother Eno, what do you yeah, think, what do you think are five things that we need in our community that, that would help build our community? Uh, definitely shelters. With the shelter, but not just like you know, just like John three sixteen shelter, like a shelter that can they got counselors, therapists that can help the people. Because right. people are going through stuff, they need to talk to somebody. And you can't always talk to your family or talk to your homies and get the things off your chest that you want to get off your chest. So talking to somebody you don't know, a stranger that went to school for that shit, to help better with a lot of the situation. Correct, correct. So then, I mean, bro, the bro said the grocery store, which they got Oasis, but before we need before a grocery store, I really think like a farmer's market, like, you know, back in the day, you, oh, you produce. Yeah. Yeah, should, yeah. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Because they got the community garden over there by Morning Star for people that don't know. And sometimes they need some help. Boom, I ain't really been mobile, so it's kind of been ugly. I think but, you really got a garden too. So, <laughs> so, community centers. For the youth. Facts. Uh, I say bring back an arcade. You remember we had the arcade back in the day? Okay, yeah, arcade. Uh, the block parties. Like how Slim was talking about last time. We used to have block parties on Greenwood. Block the street yeah. off. Uh, like, it just got to be something to get the, the, the elders to communicate and mingle with the youth a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't playing like 70, 80 year olds because we know they ain't really messing around with these youngsters because they think everybody going to shoot a gun as soon as it'll be an argument. So, <laughs> yeah, I remember, I think it was you that said, like, we need a bus system for the elders. <laughs> that probably was they get on it for free every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Where yeah. we could, and, 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 and there's organizations that would donate to fund that. Yeah. But, but then... Mm. How many how many black I mean, people got their driver's license? Say it again. How many black folks really got their driver's license? <laughs> That's driving. Period you got their license. I know periodically, yeah, just periodically speaking. I know you got yours. You know, yeah, I had yeah. mine. Yeah. But how many people got them or got them and still got them? Like I had mine, but I got them and I'm trying to get them back. Boom. So it's like the judicial system down here, it's a dirty game. Man. Like you got you got you got Brandy over here with twenty five DUIs. You know what I'm saying? And she still got a license. <laughs> but then you got ten. You got you got you got uh. Let me see. You got Demarco because his name is Demarco. He got two I DUIs. Mean, his license suspended. Oh, that shit. <laughs> I give you a know? story. Uh, one of my coworkers. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say which job, but at a job I work at. At a job I worked at, or I work at, whatever the case may be. Uh. He told me he got a DUI. He's a driver. And instead of them, he got, I think he got two of them or maybe three. But instead of them firing him, they had somebody riding with him <laughs> for like six months, eight months or some shit like that. Yeah. And, and then this nigga still got his job. He, yeah, that's he, crazy. He's a Caucasian though. Yeah, and that's how they do. That's how they do. Mr. Akuno. It will, y'all have been fired on the spot. Yeah, you would have had your job. You would have been driving your shit home. Your yeah. regular. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's just like I'll be trying to get people to understand. It's it's the systematic system in Oklahoma, bro. Like, yeah, especially in Tulsa, because Oklahoma City will give you more of a chance. Brother, brother Andre was there. Yeah. He was in Oklahoma City with a good yeah, ass. Yeah. I don't live yeah, yeah. Oklahoma City, they will put, I, what, like, I can't speak about Oklahoma City, they got over the top. They don't mind putting you to work. They don't mind putting you to work. I worked work at Crest down there. I remember, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're going to give you a chance 
or making yeah. some cool amount of money in Oklahoma City than they will in Tulsa. So really, yeah. it's literally, it's literally, homie, it's literally different in Tulsa, Oklahoma. To be honest, it ain't everywhere. Really let, let, let's talk about it. How is it different? Let's talk about. It. Let's talk about Oklahoma because, because other other cities they give people chances, bro, that didn't have problems in their life, mental, uh, felony wise, whatever. Yeah, and Oklahoma City, they go like like bro said, they're gonna put you to work. Bro, them been in the pen and all that. Here, he couldn't get a job that he wanted, making the money he wanted. Boom, he got out of the county jail and hit the ground running. Nigga was on a bike, nigga, nigga going to get a job because I used to talk to him. He was on one at first, and I had to sit, keep sitting him down and talk to him and say, Bro, there's two things you know yeah. we can do. You can work, you can work. All right, nigga, yeah. you, you, you gonna grind, bro, and grinding yeah, ain't all right, that's true story. story. Yeah. Grinding, and yeah, I that's told true him, story. grinding ain't got all these be legal drugs. It could be t shirts, whatever, nigga. It's two things we know we can do. We can get a job or we can hustle. Get your mind right. off the bullshit. And that nigga got on that bicycle and was gone, nigga, all the way to Katusa, nigga. For niggas that <laughs> you hear me, I remember that shit. Nigga, nigga, nigga try to make excuses. You laughing. You laughing. Yeah. But hey, nigga, no, nigga, my mama, though. Real nigga, shit. Nigga, I, had, I got a partner who, I worked at the casino. His brother, you know what I mean? He a little off, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, off from his apartment to work. Bro. Real sweet snow, bro. So, so, and if he can so, do it, I know damn well. When my shit broke down. I better go get out here and try to get me something. Bro. Man, come on. So, come on. So, he 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 got his, he bounced that, boom. He hit the ground running, boom. That nigga got a job, got him a car, ASAP Rocky, boom. And he was going to work, but he wasn't really waking, making the money he wanted to make, and he knew he was capable of making. Right. So when he got to the city, he seen a change. He was making more money in Oklahoma City than he was here. I made more money down there than I made in Tulsa. As far as so, working wise, yeah. yeah. So yeah, God, them on giving a felon, a black man, brown, whatever, a job and giving them an opportunity and giving them a chance to do it and to make themselves over, they do that thing. down here. As soon as you, they see you a felon or something wrong, or they think you got something wrong just because your skin brown, they like, nah, we actually, they hire a serial killer, a serial rapist, don't even know the nigga a serial rapist, child pedophile, she motherfucker with child. they hire one of us. Yeah. But, but you and, know, and, uh, another, yeah, I, you I think the reason why that is, though, because it's a lot of more Klansmen in this area than it is down there. This northeast Oklahoma, just the whole yeah, northeast yeah, side of yeah, Oklahoma, yeah, is Klansmen yeah. out. You gotta look at it. We right by Arkansas and everything. You know, yeah, I know. Uh, Oklahoma City is cool, but fuck up. I hold on, let me watch how I say this. Oklahoma City is cool, but fuck yeah. the police department. Uh, yeah. yeah, now the police, is, okay, police yeah. down there is definitely right. I mean, I, mean, I mean, because the police is like that, really, because it was a lot of shit going on down there back in the day, and they know that the government down there, the system will give people a chance of our ethnicity. They give a chance. I got more leeway from the from our own kind of police when I say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or right there. Yeah, because because they system they they messed up in the head. See down there, see, down there the laws that's the same color as us. They on that mentality. It's one black dude that's who is in a penitentiary. Uh, he I don't know if he's still alive or not. He was the only black Aryan brother in the Oklahoma State Penitentiary with the white boy killing Negroes. Mm -hmm. And you got some. You got some. You got some. Some, and some black, you got some black, you got some black Irish mobs too down there in Oklahoma City. It, it messed me up. So when I'm yeah, down there and meet people on the job, <laughs> talking about that <laughs> Irish mob. Some of them brothers down there way of thinking is different. Yeah. So, but 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 as far as like the ecosystem of working and the job wise and all that shit for the economy and the bill, they gonna give you a chance before her. Right. Right. Here, here, they all, they all with the, cause they with that freaky dicky, so they gonna get, they gonna get a couple, couple underage kids, boys and girls, cause they mess with them all. They rather work these high school than somebody that's got experience. They rather get them, they rather get them hands on experience so they can break a man the way they want to break a bed. Man, for real, that's, <laughs> that's how they is. Yeah, there's nothing but Klansmen up here, man, and. It's, it's it's really sick. It's really sick, man. I was just about to ask you. So, do you think racism still exists here 
in Tulsa? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of it, course. Exists, it, it exists all over the world still. Right. I mean, yeah. we, 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 we know that. But I mean, like, as far as. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to give you one example why it still exists. I'm going to give you one example because this just happened to me about like, this just happened to me like three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, I was at the job, the moving company. Uh, we moved a family from uh, Claremore to Broken Arrow. Okay. Now, the daughter was packing a whole lot of stuff. She ain't even supposed to be packing that. She don't work on the job or nothing. And I said, excuse me, ma'am. I can carry it because it's my job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, she gave me the most evilest. Girl. She said, nah, I don't need no help. But as soon as the Caucasian come out, like, oh, you need me to grab that for you, she give it to him. And then she knew I knew she was on some racist stuff because when we was when we got all the stuff finally in the building, she was just looking when he was carrying. She was just looking at me when he was carrying his stuff, and I asked her first. Yeah. But you know, I was just trying to get the job. You know, what I mean, do my job. And she was like, no, like with an attitude. But as soon as he stepped off the off the uh, thing, you know what I mean, out, out the truck, and asked, "Can he help?" Or she let him help. When I was the first one to ask, yeah, and I'm just trying to do my job. You know what I mean? What I was getting paid for. So yeah, racism still exists here, in uh, especially Tulsa. It really in the whole state of Oklahoma, but down here is something else. Down here, they still got the books, bro. They still got them ledges and all that shit. They still going. They still doing what they was. They, they keep it the That's why all that shit that you, you sound muffled, bro. You sound muffled. That hundred year anniversary. All that shit, bro. They doing what they people in them ledgers sent them to do. They still following the rules, bro. Like some of these other states, they been in the rules letting niggas in because they really see they they, they need black folks. They need the people that's more intact with the earth and it with intact with the sun and that can take the heat in the sun and don't cook and don't gotta go get no sun tan lotion and all that shit or whatever. All we need is some cold water. Like, uh, so they see, okay, we need in other places. They say we need them down here. They like, no, we still following these rules. We still gonna play by these rules. We still gonna do it like this and keep these motherfuckers' mind wrapped on some other shit because that's just like, okay, the government mansion. The governor mansion is in Oklahoma City, but they give a, a felon a job in Oklahoma City, making more money in Oklahoma City than they will in Tulsa. Stitt is in Tulsa. I mean, Stitt is in the city. A GT Burnham is in the toss. Mm -hmm. Governor Stitt hate McGirt. He hate Indians. He hate the McGirt law. Mm -hmm. But he, but he but he claimed to be one to get the benefits. Okay, yes, but he hate him. Yeah. <laughs> fighting Come against him. Yeah. Fighting on, against him. Let's talk about it. <laughs> he claimed he to fight when he get the thing that they believe in in the battle. But he say he one of them. Then GT Burnham, his people. Is what he he I think this they, man bloodline they, they own slaves. This man bloodline went to the Brady bloodline. GT Bynum. That's they, how like bro. he did it. So, and he was like, I don't think that they deserve reparations. Yeah, bro. They bro. They doing they doing what they legends said. The legends the legends told these people where them bodies was at. The legend said when this shit get a hundred years old, because it's not really hidden from history, we only hiding it from the motherfuckers that don't know about it the in their family. We're gonna hide yeah. it from the locals. So Boom. if they don't know about black black economics, black excellence, or, or <laughs> unity, then they won't ever hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Yeah. It's so, basically all this is basically what J. Edgar Hoover planned to do, messed up the rise of a black messiah. And that ain't even religion, is why is what I'm talking about. J. Edgar Hoover got it from Willie Lynch, bro. It's all if you it's all go back to Willie Lynch. He doing mm -hmm. with his people. These people in Oklahoma are still following the Willie Lynch set. They they still following it. They still following the book. He like bro, when they people the Bible, the Bible belt state. Yes. Why you think they call it? Why you think they call it? Then it's the most evil shit to go on around here. Because because I ain't following the Bible. If you look on, if you look on Tulsa, yeah, Mugs, yeah, they killing niggas and ra raping children. And not, if you if you look on Tulsa Mugshots, oh, you yeah, yeah, they they follow the King James. They ain't following yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. that 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 real. They ain't following that real. <laughs> you gonna yeah, you gonna yeah. you gonna see you gonna see. It's crazy. On there for child molestation, child pornography, all that shit, white people, bro. 
Yeah, you gonna, you gonna see police. You gonna see police on top some mug shots, rape cases. That's why, that McGirt, that's why I say that McGirt stuff was bull crap because that was the that was the case with that case. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, so now you're saying it's okay to, to do that, but if you claim to be tribal, then the tribal courts will handle it, and this man free. That's the example yeah. y'all setting. That's the hmm. example, Tussle. That it's okay but, to do that. And but they they've been saying it's okay to do that. If you go look up most Caucasian sex offenders in this state, they get two years, three years probation, all that shit. They don't never, you don't never hardly see them filing the register for a sex offender like black people that was caught peeing outside, brown people that might have had to pee real bad, drunk than a motherfucker or something, peeing outside, and the police see them. Oh, you got to register for a sex offender. Make people think they even did something. And they don't register because they just was taking a leak outside. They was born in the fifties, and they was been taking leaks outside since the sixties. <laughs> right, right, now you right. Tell him, now you want to tell a nigga he can't pee on a tree no more? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in his own yard, in his own yard, if he want to. Because if you got your own shit and they pass by, and you like, nigga, I'm outside. I'm a boy. You teaching your son, your kids outside, and you got two bathrooms in your house, and you got daughters or something. And nigga, your son's outside. You can't even tell them to go behind the house no more and pee. Nigga, because if they get caught, nigga, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but then you got these motherfuckers out here that's they people, they relatives and all that shit, getting caught with child pornography, doing all kind of shit, sodomy, all that shit, and they getting two years probation. They let the coach in Bristol. The coach in Bristol just got caught doing that. He, he was peeping Tom, peeping on the little rascals and the little boys in Bristol High School and shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, they just let him out on bond on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Caucasian man. So but a brother just trying to take care of their they family, get caught with a little small amount of drugs or something, they getting wiped out. You know yeah. what I mean? But, they, but they're, allowing, they're allowing the... G-Quay. I got to watch how I say this because this is going on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But they're allowing the... The 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 mol I get, can we say molestation of children on YouTube? Yeah, you can. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're allowing. You know what I mean? This 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 is what oh, this is what they're saying is okay with the with this McGirt shit. With the, you know what I'm saying? With the, with this coaching the school shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget the church did this shit back in the day. Victory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they act like they forgot about that shit. Back in the day, they still doing it. Man. You see what I'm saying? But this is the yeah. example. But like you just said, a brother can get caught with a motherfucking nickel bag. Brother can get caught with three grams. I said nickel bag. Right. That's some old school shit. <laughs> but uh, right. <laughs> but yeah, no. Nah, and they gonna wipe you out. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, they, yeah. They gonna wipe you out. It's, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. And then we let them bother us like that too, as a people. We we gave these people power to do. I, and I just don't understand how is we getting whipped like this when all over the planet Earth it's eleven of us to one of them. And I just don't see why is we getting, you know what I mean? Because of why the, are we? They got mind control, Debo. I'm 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 gonna tell you. Mind control, Debo. It's the it's the it's the it's the right it's the illusion. <laughs> yeah. You go out in public. That's how people scared, people scared of that time. Let me out. So people scared of being in the cages and Let stuff. Me I, just like you say, me out. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. But when you in the public eye, as far as like traveling or going to grocery stores or going to work, you see them. But Correct. if you go to the universities and the colleges, you see us. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. There's more of us in the colleges and universities. Than it is in the penitentiary system. All right, you know. You know. You fin you fin know. There you go. But they, they don't talk about that. that. We they don't, don't talk about that. that. So they saying? got people on commercials, Caucasians and Asians and motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Neanderthal bloodline. That that three percent Neanderthal still living in them. We don't see enough of us because we don't spend our money with each other no more. As far as like we deal with Black Wall. That's because these youngsters watching all this YouTube shit and all this drill shit and all this backdoor shit, they don't can't even trust their own shadow, nigga. Of course they ain't nobody else. You know you can't <laughs> get it is fucked up. And yeah. it, it, the only reason it's like that because 
We don't have no. Every time we have an event, it gotta be a fucking some shit with some music or some shit going on instead of niggas just going posting up nigga and mingling. Not even yeah. have, have do a get back. Let fuck uh what is it uh the radio station do the little bike shit every year. You know what I'm talking about the radio station yeah. do the bike shit every year. Why yeah, you know what I'm saying I, I ain't been here. Uh. Uh, clothes or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be seeing a lot of them go out in their neighborhoods and free, donate to drop off your clothes here. Free donate but see, that's like what Scotty, that's like what Scotty was talking about, how we used to have block parties in the hood, bro. Like, before, like, it might have, it might be the DJ out there, some big ass speakers, the street blocked off, but door, why it's light outside, like, it might start right now or at four o'clock. And while it's light outside, the music gonna be up that loud and people be walking around mingling with each other. And everything chill to make sure the tension is not all gonna be all fucked up in the energy. So it started out during the day mellow, and then as it get nighttime and fall turn up time, then the music go up, and then it's party time. And we didn't never really have no problems. It was no shootouts, no fight. That's why when I was in prison, and my mama told me they closed down the June team because a nigga got killed over there. I was mad. I feel like if I was yeah. nigga, that shit wouldn't have happened on God, nigga. Like that's how I really feel. We didn't have that shit. Me, Scotty, Bougie, Angelo Estes, Tall Kenji, and nigga Juno Ray, the nigga Nick Ponder, Willie Ponder that played in the NFL, little brother nigga. All of us used to be piled up walking through that motherfucker on foot patrol. Even though that, like, nigga, even though it's party time, we still, that's our hood. We had to make sure ain't none of that shit cracking like that. Ain't no gun. Yeah, for no gun. Nigga, we a jump you. you. We see you pull out a gun, we gonna jump. Yeah. And niggas ain't even Greenwood, Greenwood, even, even though Greenwood is, is, is our hood, but you don't never really, we ain't never really had no shootings or nothing. Like a lot of people don't know yeah, Greenwood is. We didn't never have no shootings and stuff on Greenwood. Yeah, like that was like, in the middle of the hood. That was over there on Maine and Cheyenne and Denver. Yeah, yeah, activity yeah, took place, but yeah, Greenwood yeah, always yeah, stayed busy. Y'all both talking. You know y'all both talking. <laughs> across, Go ahead, across, bro. across Cincinnati, they said that was the trenches. Like back yeah. in the day, some of the homies that wouldn't go over there, but you know me, I'm everywhere. <laughs> Maybe I was all of those yeah. things. But you had yeah. homies from over there that wouldn't cross Cincinnati back in the day. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? That they were scared is just some people's parents didn't want them going over there because they knew the whole stroll was over there. My parents didn't want me going over there, but I was over there. So yeah. it's just like, you know, but my daddy, my stepdaddy that raised me, the man that raised me, I call my daddy, he is a talk to native nigga, Greenwood and Latimer, nigga. Where it was the train tracks is at before over there where Morton's is at, then was houses and all that shit. They would all that shit wasn't over there before the, after the bombing and all that and before the bombing. So right. his daddy, my grandfather, had two or three houses over there already. It was a dirt road. He used to I used to I used to get all the game from my daddy, bro. Like just chopping right. up. That's why I be hating that he gone because I just sit up and soak up all that greenwood, old school, you know, the dirt roads, hear about the saloons, the little shacks and all that, getting the shack, all that shit, bro. Like it was cracking over there. And that's why I be like, damn, if they had a car like that back in the day, nigga, even in the 50s and even in the 60s before they put that highway up over there, why we can't do it now? We should have a whole little casino over right. there. Right. You know what I'm saying? They buying up everything. And then they putting what they want to put over there, and they get money off of it. They, and then even if a black man do got a business over there, guess what he got to pay taxes. That's so who like a more brother Kareem was saying, you got Osage right there on on tip top. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but it, it, it's it's actually on the divided line side. So all yeah. the funding goes to Osage. Yeah. But who spent all their money in the casino? Dark Tulsa. Yeah. yeah. At River Spirit. They black people go from one casino to the other. They go off to the two so everywhere. They travel to go. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? To give so, our, so, to give our so, money away. I'm gonna tell the media this. If y'all give black people reparations, y'all gonna get some of y'all money back in the casinos. Just give them people their money. They know that. They, they they know. That. You know what? This fucked up saying like that and I laugh, but it's the reality. Because that's, that's what that's what going on with Texas. You We're going with the taxes. Do. We're going with the tax season. As soon as they get it, they go right back. <laughs> don't nobody, don't nobody uh, they go our money don't even last in the community 48 hours when we get taxes. Don't nobody invest in the community. Yeah. Ain't nobody talking about it. Come together. Like, people ain't like, 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 like,
people don't even invest in their self. Come on, that's, that's what I'm saying. They invest in everybody else but their own self, bro. So financial literacy is a problem in our community. Yeah, that's what's wrong with us. Right. Like, we not broke as, as a people. We not broke. No, nah, we the eighth, we the eighth richest nation in the world uh, as in, over here in America. As people who look like us, we are the eighth richest than, nation. I would have thought it was higher than that. That's still in the top ten. That's still in the top ten. So we got money, we, we, we and got then money. we just on dumb stuff. We gotta look at it. So if we if we the eighth richest nation. And we got more population, and we stronger than them. Why the fuck is we sitting here like this? Come on, bro. Because because our mind frame is messed up. Because we against each other. We so trying to stand on each other. Beats. We, we trying to stand on each other. We buying boot butt lifts. We buying eyebrows. Yeah, all yeah. that bullshit. We buying fucking rims. We buying yeah. Glocks with switches. We buying dumb shit. Come on, bro. Little interview on YouTube. Man. Come on. And then, and then the ones, the ones that did do something with their brother and get little food trucks and all that, they ain't coming to the hood and giving back. No, nah, they not. You know, like, I mean, you know, it's it's it it they 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 all on Facebook. Who they with? Okay, right. they feel like they can't put them in a position, but they don't want to do nothing. But you need to mute your mic, white bro. Talk. Mr. Shy, you niggas gonna get do died by the okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That, that's, that's just like uh those that join those fraternities, fraternities, or fraternities. Yeah, them, uh, yeah. Alpha, Greek, Calpha, all that. You know what I'm saying, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They but made up, made up, dip, they all that. They forget about the community. They leave, go marry another. Forget about where they came from. The only ones forget is with the freaky ones. They got them freaky, them freak, them Pete Diddy parties going on. They 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 can't they can't miss the P Diddy party. And so it's like it's like it's like you either gotta be this way or you gotta go this way to try to, try to get somewhere. But they don't understand like if we all get together, the style wants to get together and so it's like we gonna do it like this. And then for that if you wanna come around, you gotta do it together. Yeah, I'm up again, what you doing? Oh man, I don't know what man. I don't, you know it's cloudy over here. You clear now. I'm clear now. When you when you step back, you clear, but when you up close, you sound muffled. Man, hey, you good? We if we be can you hear him? Yeah, I can hear him a little bit. Ah, shit, I don't know. I, I can hear you now. Okay, now I can hear him. Yeah, now I can hear him good. But yeah, yeah, uh, if we all just get together, the solid ones get together, start building, the the other ones will try to come and follow, but we got to let them know. It's a set of rules and regulations around this thing. Like, we'll have repercussions to consequences that ain't tolerable. Like, this shit is not a game. You want to leave your Man, that's, what, that, that's when that... Oh, my bad, bro. Go ahead. Because I'm going to add on to that. People want to leave their kids here in a wicked-ass world that don't nobody care because they on drugs, fitting on, and meth, and they can't sleep, and uh, their mind is fucked up because of the drugs or whatever. It's like, mm -hmm. bro, or do you want to have... That's why when I was in a pen, that's why I tell people, like, oh, okay, I ain't never been a Muslim, but I didn't been to some of their services, and I like the way they get down. They militant. You got to line up. You got to do this. You got to do this this way. It's so like yes, that's that structure. So they have a structured set, setting. So that's what we have to have. We have to have structure. If we don't have yeah. no structure, then it ain't shit. It's it's a it's no it's no foundation. It's no foundation if it's not a structure. If we can't start a foundation to build a structure on, it's no structure. Everything is just a wildfire, California wildfire, and the shit spreading. And these youngsters think the crazy, stupidest shit in the world is cool. Well, a a African Americans, we need as far as a, a, like you know we as a lot of laying down like far as people doing corruption. African Americans, we need to follow Sharia law because if we follow Sharia law, I guarantee to cut out a lot of that bull crap we do to each other. You still you get your hand chopped off point blank. 
I mean, you got to go to jail. You get that one hand chopped off, I bet you won't steal no more. You right, then they cut off your penis. And I want y'all to continue, but I just want to say that that's why I think that all the so-called black fashions that we have, we need to come together because if you study cannibal, cannibal, uh, Hannibal Ben Barker, I was about to say cannabis, but Hannibal, Hannibal, you study him, he had all different fashions together. You know right. what I mean? He had all the right. armies, you know what I mean? He would have like the Celtic brothers, he would have brothers on horses, he would have, you know what I mean, like the arrows, you know what I mean, spearmen, whatever the case. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. And different yeah, that's what, you know Bro, that's why I started that's why I started the one gang movement, bro. Like everybody come together, it's it, it don't matter, bro. Everybody got a position, everybody got a part. You just gotta find out, or you might need help finding the light to what you really trying to do or get into. You know what I'm saying? Some people be having they 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 give preserved so long that they lose the light to they to whatever they've been thinking about they can do all them years because they don't know who to talk to, the right people to talk to. They don't know what right. to say. They can talk to their family and they feel like, ah nigga, I've been knowing you all your life. You ain't about shit. You just like your daddy has some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's sad because that's how most of our people look at each other though, because they look at yeah. what you did in the past and so, think that you know you're not a better person than what you did in the past. I mean we all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. We're just human. Yeah. And it's the life that we live. Life is a learning experience. Good for it. And I said, yeah. you know what I'm saying, in one of my posts earlier that nobody's perfect. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to act like I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because people get on that on that social media and act like they like they don't have no problems. Like everything is just it, peaches and cream, bro. Yeah, yeah. We all going through it. Yeah. But you know when people do that on the internet, they lie, so they lie. And they lie to themselves on the internet so much that so they can start trying to believe it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why they they, they get yeah. they, they get their kicks off the they get their high off the likes. They get their high off the you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, some of them, rush. Some of them right. people don't even get no likes. Some of them people probably get thirty likes, and then they just keep reading it and reading it over and over and over and over and telling themselves this is really the life I live. Because you know how people say if you write it down. And you do it, and you think about it, and you preserve it, then it'll become you. <laughs> I'm saying, even, right. like, even, like, even uh, you talking about like a post. But I'm saying, even like when women share like, yeah, a picture. You know what I'm talking about people are lying to post. But I'm saying, like yeah. when a woman share a photo, she may get thirty likes, and she, oh, I got thirty likes. I'm, I'm gonna show a little bit more leg today. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah, right. We ain't talking about getting naked for the gram. I'm just talking. yeah, a lot, yeah, a lot, a lot of lot of social social live like that though. They, 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 they uh, catch the seekers. Like, uh, I'm in various groups and I see where, like, I'm in a lock group, for example. You know what I'm saying? And then it'll be a female with locks, but she got to show off some skin and can say, I ate an apple today and get a thousand likes. Yeah. Ain't talking about nothing. I ate an apple today. But because yeah. she's showing off skin, she ain't talking about a lot. She ain't talking about nothing got to do with the group. Nothing with no substance. But because she's showing off her skin. Correct. When y'all could get on there, y'all could be like, hey, brother, let's come together. I got a community event I'm hosting. And I'm gonna just come and show support. And barely get 10 likes. Come on, bro. Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. They need to destroy that social media. Make everybody come outside again. Then people see the real value of life. I remember bro was talking about, remember we had the little flag football thing a couple years back? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you had all the sets up there. Everybody was in their own little section. Remember? Mm -hmm. They can come together for that. But why we can't come together for the for the youth? They had, man, they had a, I remember they had a birthday party at Chamberlain, uh, maybe like two years ago. And they shot, it was a, it was a, a child's birthday party. And they shot it up. They came up there and like, come on, bro. But the only reason that flag football now that didn't happen because it was fantasy football, flag football. So it ended up shot up anyway after so long. You talking about after by the uh, morning star? Yeah. 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 When little Shady got killed, that's when I first got out like in 2017. In like June or July. That happened. I, yeah, I got a blood right before my twins' birthday, and that it happened like right after a week after that. I was out like maybe a week, two days, and that shit happened.
Yeah. Like, but it comes to the females playing foot flag football, was females playing softball. They out there, they in Daisy Dukes, our little boot cut shorts. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, but like, uh, I, mean, I, I was just referencing, you know what I'm saying, how you was like, when we was talking, like, I think it may have been episode one or maybe before we even started recording, we was talking about how, you know what I mean, like, our people make excuses of why we can't come together, but they will come together for the Oh, okay. such such, you know what I'm saying? Such, such artists is coming. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's gonna turn out. It don't matter who come to perform. We know how it's gonna turn out when it comes to our, our community. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody gonna show up. So it's like, again, we don't, we don't, we're not poor. We're not broke. We just have a poor mental when it comes to financial literacy and, 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 and unity, the common unity in community. You know what I'm saying? Again, like the platform, you're going to see brothers from all nations on here, you know what I'm saying, with the same nationality. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to be on, we're speaking of the, the right, bro. We ain't on no good side, bro. This is. Leave on the sideline. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's talk about the facts. Let's talk about what's really going on. And right. regardless what colors y'all flew, what color I flew in my past, whatever the case may have been, we done all been, we done all been harassed by Tulsa Police Department. We all are trying to provide for our children, trying to provide for ourselves, trying to make it through these struggling times. You know what I'm saying? And we done not been through it. To we want to, we want to show somebody else. Hey, man, I done, I done been there, done that. This is a better way. Correct. You know what I'm saying that's all our people. Yeah, you know? and, and for those who want to build, we can try to build. We can build this thing together. Everybody got to try. So you got to start somewhere. Because I know somebody gonna hear this somewhere. I don't care if you're from here or if you're out of town and you want to know what's going on and going down. Hit the comments, like, subscribe, holla at my boy Akunu, and, and we can get it cracked. See what I'm saying, man? That's what this Most is. definitely. Yeah. Oh. Uh, y'all want to, we can keep going, though. If you know what I'm saying? Y'all got something y'all got going. I see y'all both in traffic. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, okay. I do want to make sure everything ain't gravy. I'm yeah, everything is gravy. I'm mean, like, that's, that's like nothing. And I'm going to say it just because I'm on camera. Because when I was younger, I would never do it. And, it, and it's a mental. That's why I say everything is mental, right? You know what I'm saying? But can you see what color this is? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But back yeah. then, so this shit don't, bro, this, this, we have to get out of that mental, like, like that, that color banging, that color shit, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying us. But those that are in that lifestyle, bro, like this is 2024. They was doing that shit in the motherfucking 80s. What, what you think? What you think about, about that United States flag, man? How the, you got the white in between the red and the blue. You want all right? So, uh, if you want, if you want me to break down the more science of that or the, the hist historical proof of the evidence of that, those yeah. six white stripes on that uh, commerce flag, United States banner. Is the six European nations that came over here and enslaved our people on our own land, who right. made us prisoners of this war that we are in? Right. English, French, German, Scottish, the Dutch, and the Irish. Yeah. That's why we celebrate St. Patrick's. We celebrate all the Roman pagan holidays. Yeah. Because those are the six European nations that shed blood of our people. To take our soil, right? But that's a conversation they don't want to have. And another thing, I make, another thing, I'm not, I'm, I'm not promoting hate again. I'm no, 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 before you go any further, basically, I'm gonna ask this question. So basically, they clicked up like yeah. we do now. They clicked up, yeah, and got at us, and then they became white. That's why they all call themselves white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, he ain't lying. But now, what I'm saying is, what I'm trying to get the people to see is. What they did to us, they got us doing it to each other. We clicking up on each other. They yeah. clicked up and take over. Then we clicking up on each other. And we ain't taking over nobody's hood. We ain't taking over no the cartel drug game. We ain't taking over nothing. We clicking up on each other and they ain't taking over nothing. They clicked up on us and took over. 
I That's all I'm trying to get people in the world to see. Have y'all ever seen yeah. Birth of a Nation? The Nat Turner movie? Yeah, I've seen it. You remember at the end when they were lynching Nat and then he, he turned it to the boy that was fighting for the Civil War? Right. At that moment, I said, damn, we went from fighting for, for, for our freedom to fighting for the United States freedom. <laughs> That's crazy. One now it's down here. It's on down. Right there. Man, we. And so now we fighting for them. We, we going to their wars, becoming their police officers, part of their corporations, fighting for them. And you I, also at the end of that movie too, though, know, you see they got you see they got the Satan looking like that European too. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, yeah, the movie Get Out. It's they so doing much, that in real life. It's so much symbology. It's so much, so many messages in that. Uh, I ain't gonna go too deep into that. Uh, also, uh, that movie. Uh, they clone Tyrone. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? Uh, I did see bits and pieces of it. Uh, they call Tyrone. No, nope, next one. Next time you get a chance, you'll watch that. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about that on the next one. You know what I'm saying? We'll Most talk definitely. about that on the next one. But uh, it's a lot of man. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of movies like uh that they that they show you what's going on. But we think it's just Love entertainment. It. You know what I'm saying? They'll tell yeah. us something that's based on a true story and we'll believe it. And they'll say something right. that's not, you know what I mean? And, and it'd be the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. like, uh, right. like when I studied the history, the uh, planet of the apes, you know what I'm saying? If you deal yeah. with if you deal with the truth, we were the scientists, and they were they were the experiment. Yeah, they were the experiment. Yeah, they, but they, they but they try to put it reverse. You know what I'm saying they yeah. try to reverse around like we were the apes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So then they got the yeah. television telling you black people look like monkeys; they're apes. And so now people are thinking this, and they so now they trying to say that's us. When the reality, the truth was, they are the high. That's really them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, they're the yeah. That's really them. But we ain't gonna yeah, that's really down. That, but you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's a lot, bro. Uh, man, see, yeah, because I don't want to get my channel banned. Yeah, yeah it's really down, man. But like it's, it's just so much information, bro. To, uh, that I want to help share, bro. It's like uh, I'm about to be an executive member of this of this committee. You know what I'm saying? Of this uh, the trip that I came back from from Philadelphia. You know what I'm saying? I just got the message from Abdullah, literally, and he just said, don't share it yet. But, uh, man, like, I'm being pulled up in this movement, and then also, I want, I want to bring this movement to the town, bro. And that's why I'm doing stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout, out, definitely. shout out to all of the gangs, you know what I'm saying, as far as like brothers from red, blue, green, whatever, orange, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Peace and love to all of them. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. But it's time for a change. It's time yeah. for, It's time for community revolution. It's time for right. community love. If, you know what I'm saying? Right. If, if we gonna live that, let's be about that. Because everybody right. killing and killing, ain't nobody killed. In most cases, most of them ain't never killed nothing. Most definitely. So let's so let's let's get back to the movement. If, if, if we and we're not gonna talk about violence or killing nobody, but if we're gonna get back to that, let's get back to real and that. You know what I'm saying? Let's, Most let's, definitely. Let's kill oppression. They kill the keyboard. They keyboard killers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Don't make me get my Charleston white on. Shit, yeah, the minute. Hey, you see, uh, you seen him on that, uh, How to Catch a Predator? Who, Charleston? No, he, he, he helping catch predators. I'm about to say that nigga from the man. I'm gonna have to get on the nigga. <laughs> I don't want to get copyrighted, but, uh, I just watched it earlier on Instagram, uh, he had one of them motherfucking speaker phones with uh, them horns. And, uh, he was like, hey, this man right here trying to meet a 13 year old. He trying to get sucked by a 13 year old. All them stuff following him around and shit. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, right, that's crazy. 
He bullhorned him out, baby. He bullhorned them niggas up. That's what he needed to do. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what needed, though. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. See, I told y'all he be on the bullshit sometimes, but he don't be on my bullshit all the time. Cause Charleston White, some of his, some of the shit he be on, I be agreeing with. But I, when he get on that bullshit, I just be like, man, here you go with the shenanigans. I guess that's just what the internet. Is, they, that's what they doing on the internet now. <laughs> they they keep yeah. it real, and then they get on some bullshit to get them likes and them the views and that bullshit up. Cause. I'm like, man, this nigga, he, sometimes he go out right with the bullshit. <laughs> like, right now, if we were to get into it, this motherfucker would go up. Yeah, uh, yeah, that'd be, yeah, it'd be a thousand viewers. This motherfucker would go up. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna start talking shit and talking about, let, well, well, let's meet up then somewhere. Yeah, Nick, we gonna go it'd down. be a thousand viewers. Let, let's get us a hundred thousand viewers. We gonna go live getting yeah. there. We gonna go live yeah, getting yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hundred thousand viewers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they yeah, love. Yeah, a thousand viewers. Like, bro. If, if we get, if we get, if we get, uh, two, th two point two, two, nah, twenty five hundred subscribers <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and a hundred thousand views, yeah. we gonna lock. We gonna go. We gonna lock, y'all. We gonna lock for y'all. We gonna go where y'all wants to go and talk. So tell us where y'all wants to go. And we gonna lock. We <laughs> we gonna we gonna pull pranks on each other. Yeah, we gonna we gonna yeah. y'all what y'all want. We gonna get y'all some get that yeah, light button right now. Have to get a thousand views, they blow up, baby. Yeah, we gonna hit y'all with we some. We do that. If we start acting ignorant. Uh, everybody want to be a part of that. Nah, nah, we gonna, yeah. gonna get some bullshit some of these times. Y'all get us up there. Get us up there. Get us up there. Get us up there. Yeah, hit, let us get up there. He ain't gonna hey, kill me, is he? <laughs> that dog may be old, but I'm at the, the, that dog hey, may be old, but dog. We can get monetized when we can go live. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to go live. We're going to go. We're going to bang it out. Whatever y'all want us to go. If y'all want us to go to Tasty Freeze, they call it the Freeze now. Yeah. We're going to go to the North Side Restaurants, live for y'all, whatever, baby. We're going to show y'all. The, the black bands that we do have around the North Side that been there over 20 and 30 years. McLean Shopping Center, y'all want us to go to McLean Shopping Center? See, that's what I'm saying. That's not, that's on, on some serious, on, on some real shit. I appreciate you too. Thank you. I know y'all remember when McLean Shopping Center was born. <laughs> okay, that's all good. Back in the day, right up the chicken shack was down the street. But before they had the chicken shack, they had uh, the Chinese JD Man's. I think it's my Andy. Oh, it's a party up in here. I remember that. I remember that. That's a <laughs> <laughs> like, like it was cracking off. Okay. It used to go down. Everybody be in the parking lot. Niggas be at JD Mans. Then go right around. Uh, I was probably, I was probably like fifteen. And they had the Family Dollar right there next to the Walgreens. Yeah, and I go to both stores and walk out with shit in my pocket. And then I the over there. Uh, Thank you, cousin. You can be lady down. You can be lady I'm gonna run this to the front real quick. I'm that dog. No, no die steppers. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it was some black businesses back in the day. Oh, it was that bag right there behind you too. That black one. It was all kind of little stuff. You know, the freeze, uh, the burger. Did you fuck with uh? And they and they wasn't they wasn't us on. But did you fuck with Taco Palace? <laughs> Yeah, every day, man, I'll be out of my brother and them. I'll be up because we take JD man talking about us right there, boom. You know what I'm saying? But then you had like the chicken shack. Wanda J's was over there first, uh, right next door to McLean. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, I ain't Wanda J. Boom, it was cracking. Free my nigga, look nasty night for 5 4. Even though I ain't for 5 4, that's my nigga. That's my who, got, yeah, who got the best burgers, the freezer or the burger? The burger had uh, the, the, the burger. Burgers. The burger got yeah. The burger. <laughs> the burger had yeah. the oh, burger. And I think they put us down. I ain't been by there in a cool minute. The lady, I, be yeah, I think I saw the what's the name. The lady they sold it. The lady was getting too old. They sold it. They ain't got it no more. It's just the free stuff now. That's what I'm saying. If if we get them lights up, we can stream it live. We can go around and show the black on the that been here for twenty years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then we get the ones that been around for like 10 years, boom. But then we, then it'll make people might still want to, like, let's go and grow. Let's go help grow. Let's go help grow. You know what I'm saying? We we trying to plant the seed. And, you know, we gonna, somebody going to sprinkle us, baby, like E40. 
Sprinkle me, baby. Sprinkle me, baby. <laughs> That's a sample. Okay, you do? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. 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 Okay.
you can you know how much money you can make in a owning a business where all you gotta do is come in check the paperwork walk around make sure your staff doing what they supposed to go the fuck home yeah i got one little thing like that yeah, I, when when the food got cracking you know what i'm saying they was trying to get my little bro they was trying to get my little bro uh Lil J Hood, they was trying to get him to drop out of OSU and all. I'm like, bro, if you drop out of school, man, you gonna go toe to toe, and that's how it's gonna be. I just got out the yard and I hit hard, baby. I ain't tripping. So it was like they was, they, was trying to get him, they was trying to get him to just be doing all that ignorant stuff, and I'm like, nah, bro. And I had to tell just be Max. Just stuck there toss a gang banger. Yeah, just get on some no, no offense. Just get on some uh, go out there and kill a Hoover. Uh, type stuff, you know what I mean? Something that's stupid. Y'all gonna need him one day, bro. Y'all gotta have somebody that got a degree or education. Now he in Holly. Now he back home in Cali. He been working in Hollywood for like three years at one of the top three restaurants in Hollywood. Bro, me celebrities every night. They throwing parties, and he up. And he like, I'm glad I listened to you. I'm glad I listened to you because I, I try to always uh, even little Logan. When I got at the pen, I didn't say. Come on, get get these guns and let's go do this, go do that. Lil Loke was doing his thing with what he was doing his thing with. And I told him, just hold it down, baby. We here, baby. And we was in the yeah. chest. And that's what it was. Never, I ain't never told my little homeboys or the young homies when I got out the pen, let's suit up and boot up and go do this. Now, I done been called because somebody called Lil Loke and they Lil Loke called me and we got the situation straight. But it was because I had got called upon. I have never called none of my young life and said, let's do this or go do that. Because I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I get 10 years in prison. I sent one of my homeboys to the penitentiary and I know what it's like. And that's what I'm saying. I, I got, and I got a little bro, like, like, uh, like how bro talking about Jay Hood. I got a little bro back in the day I put on name D'Amico and he doing his thing and he in the medical field and he lives in Baltimore, Merlin and everything and Sometimes he send me money and stuff when he see I be tripping on Facebook and all that, you know what I mean? And he's not out there, you know what I mean, gangbanging. He's doing way better than me. And he lives way out there in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. And, you know, I, I want to salute that brother. You know what I mean? You know? See what they, they changed the scenery. He went to Baltimore, Maryland. Little bro went uh -huh. back home. To we yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we give a shout out to the little homies. I got a little homie, my little partner, Junie. He in, he in Texas now, you know what I'm saying? But he went to school for mechanics at OSU, you know what I'm saying? And, and he, he uh, fixing cars, working on cars, you know what I mean? He got his own thing going. He's he been in Texas for shit over 10 years now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so it is some of the young that do listen. It is some of the young that do listen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey. We all got little homies that's been to the yard. Yeah, yeah. Well, I really ain't got. I really ain't got no. I just really have one person, which D'Amico. You know what I mean? Because you know, so I'm really, really. He like the big bro because he doing, he doing bigger and better things, baby. And I salute him. You know what I mean? For real. But he, but when he said the, big, the little homies, he don't mean like we put them on. He talking about people up under us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. Been to the yard. Or people around our age that been to the yard that we grew up with, you know what I'm saying, to the feds and all that. Like, bro, so that's why when I got out the pen, I just told I just told her, like, I met you, you was in college. Don't, don't, nigga, don't drop out, bro. Like, what did you start it for if you ain't gonna finish? Don't start it if you ain't gonna finish. Like, cause some real, like, real talk, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, I'm this is, this is, this is really growth for me as well, just like it is for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, reality, Beside Lil Lo, and like the homie Squeaky, rest in peace. The homie Day Day, rest in peace. And maybe like a few, a small amount of others, bro. I did, I did not get along with y'all. <laughs> Back then, when I was young, you know what I'm saying. And so, this, like I said, this is growth. So this is why this is important. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? When I first met you, you know, I was talking about uh, Cox. We was talking about Cox. That's you know, what I'm saying. Rest in peace. Yeah, you know I'm saying rest in peace. You know what I'm saying. But like that was yeah, rest in peace. Him, clip the speed. Those were the two that made me like. Uh, that's that's why. You know what I'm saying. I'm a client. Yeah. But see, but see, and see, it's different for me because see, when y'all kind of started banging, it was who in neighborhood war. When I started gang banging, it was Crips against Bloods. Like I used yeah. to be on five four. I used to be with the, uh, a lot of Hoover niggas, Black Soup, and all them niggas, bro. Like Trigger Blue. Uh, I know all them niggas, T-Log, nigga, Ricky Ballard, Big 30, nigga, Duck, 
Like I know these niggas Duck used to be in the hood with my cousin Tone them. So it was like Hoover niggas, six trade. If you was a crib, crib niggas was getting along back in the day. Until BG Face got killed. And I was in a boys' ranch when that happened. And then that's when the war with the who was in the neighborhood really started going up. Because I used to be at Wanda J's with my with Lil Wet, Dante, all them niggas from Five Four, my brother Vegas, bro, like Wanda J son Nate, all these niggas, bro. I done been around, I done been nigga on Five Four. It ain't nothing but Five Four. Before they was from Five Four though, they was all one of them. So like Pop PLC, Humpy, I know all these niggas, bro. Like nigga, we used to fight before we was gunning it down. Before all the gunplay and niggas gunning the niggas down and all that, niggas are fighting to be still cool. Just get your respect. And that's what that kind of is. Hey, little look, you remember when they had the hole? I, I know you know about it, but uh, you did you ever go to the hole, bro? On four six. I've been jumped at I've been jumped at the hole twice. Okay, that shit. That's when that's when little John Eastside boy was out back in the day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And they, I, now I'm thinking about it. I remember they they would play that shit right as to, to like kick motherfuckers out the club type shit. Because right. I knew as soon as that shit came on, something was going to pop off. Up, it's time to go. It's time to get up out of here. Hey, hey you know what? I, like 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 we said on the interview, me and you had a lot of that really started too. Like, you like, okay, when I came into this game, like, like, like Uno said, it was uh, Hoover Neighborhood War. But a lot of that, like, my age, see, I'm 37, about to be 38. But see, my age group, a lot of that was because our homegirls and they homegirls was tripping. Mm-hmm. Yo, I remember, so that, these niggas I remember they would do that shit in the club. these brothers yeah. from Hoover, I don't even know like that. So the only Hoovers that was really my real enemies was 2-7. Until I started going places and getting into it with people from 5, 4, 5, 7, 4, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But 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 all in all, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this this is this shows growth. You know what I'm saying? Again, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I mean, they gonna be like, "What y'all doing on her?" But again, it can be done. Yeah. Me and you, me and you, okay. done been on CNN together. Come on, man. <laughs> you know Come what I'm on, saying? Man. Yeah. Doing, doing community <laughs> that work. got over a million views. Come on, bro, doing community work. You know, yeah, that got over a million views. Right. And so, mm -hmm. well, uh, what what was your position? Because I know you know something about what we need from when it comes to structure and military. Uh, 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 I was I was playing the captain of the basically of the army. Yeah, you know, what uh, I'm saying? Uh, uh, of getting the army, yeah, and trying to give out general orders. Like, uh, no, because was, that's what I had learned from the Nation of Islam. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, but we got to get back to that as far as, you know what I'm saying, rebuilding in the community. And that's why I want I want to do something as far as with this with this group. The four of us, five of us, how many of us invest into it, invest into it. You know what I'm saying? If this summer or maybe this winter, if it's this winter, let's just, let's let's get donations for coats. Every, oh, every, yeah. every every episode, have people hey donate your coast to this location or whatever. You know what I mean? Tap in with the Woo Bam with this person or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We gonna start doing for the community, right? Through, through this network, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's up, man. Just gotta get it. They gotta, and then, then when you get monetized enough, then we can go live. They can see it. Then they can see where they where the, where the donations been going, what is what is for. That's what I'm saying. Like I mean, like even though, again, I mean, like not not giving us financial donations at the moment. You know what I'm saying, but as far as like, let's say we got a we we go talk to a building over here somewhere somewhere close to any one of us. Hey, can we set up a building here or set up set up a uh, booth right here? People can come bring clothes, can bring clothes in. People can come grab these clothes. Somebody gonna say yeah. Yeah. We want we're a part of this organization. We want to help the community. You know what I'm saying? Hell. How let my apartment? Somebody gonna let us somebody let us do it. <laughs> they can just come grab the stuff. They, they do it and they everybody in the community. I remember a couple years ago I saw on the news where the Caucasian lady was talking about they had like the little co racks outside. People just come grab whatever they want. And, and most definitely, yeah, 
doing for the homeless is most definitely we can't forget about the homeless because that's what i'm saying for the, I've, been, I've been homeless plenty of times in my life and man this last time being homeless was a yeah was a killer man being homeless with your stomach split open like a busted up hot link trust me there ain't no fun baby <laughs> you know what i mean so you know it's you know yeah <laughs> That's why I say you know, in three places, bro. We all go through them, you know what I'm saying? And that's why we are all connected. We are all the same, even though we may look different. We may we may think different, we may act different. When I say we're the same, I'm not talking about the, the obvious. When I say we're the same, I'm saying you my brother and he my brother. I don't look at y'all like niggas. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So if I say you my brother, that mean I'm right. If you if you need something and I'm able to and I, and I have access to it, then I should be able to give it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's that. That's why when I switch, when we learn to switch our vocabulary. Like I don't. Right. Know, I, I'm people. trying to now. You know what I'm saying? So instead of me saying niggas and bitches. Unless I'm talking shit or I'm mad or something, you know what I'm saying? And they take me there. They, they act. I have. They act like one. But yeah. I say my brothers and sisters. Yeah. So I see my people as that. You know what I'm saying? I don't see my people as what society sees us as. As the matrix paints us to be. I know it's all a condition. Right. right. I know it's through subjugation, through conquest. I understand the Willie Lynch syndrome, the real PTSD, post-traumatic slave disorder. Post-traumatic slave disorder, the real PTSD. I, so I'm saying I, I understand what's going on, but that's yeah. because I study, and I know I don't know everything. But you know what I'm saying? I've studied enough to know. I've studied enough, and I've questioned enough. The who, the when, the why, the where, the how. Right. You know what I'm saying? To where I'm able to be where I'm at now. And I know there's still a lot that I don't know. That's why even though I have I teach classes, I still say I'm a student myself. I don't call myself a teacher. I teach classes, but I identify as a student. Right. Or the more science temple. All right. All right. Yeah. Good. I yield for a second. I got to put this little thing. I got to put this, you know what I'm saying, together real quick. Yeah. I see you on them camos. I see that's the, I see that, the, that's the best, best, best you know, thing going. You know, you know Dr. Sebi was behind those? What, the camos? Yeah. Yeah, them is healthy. Them is natural. Yeah, I ain't know that, but they his pitch on them. I yeah, I knew that. Yeah, that's why that. I, I, was, I was blowing big. Going big, cause camos it, it ain't it ain't no tobacco product, bro. Mm -hmm. It ain't no tobacco product, man. Yeah. And once I get these cigarettes, once I get these cigarettes gone, I got everything else gone. So I get these cigarettes gone, baby. It's on. That's right, yeah, that's why I'm putting this together. I'm trying to cut back on them. Well, yes, sir. What's on your mind, brother? Over there, you just over there chilling in the cut. Yeah, oh, maybe uh, uh, Uno. Uno. Uh, so yeah, I, feel, I got all my clothes and my surround sound and stuff. I think my gold teeth is in there. I gotta find everything. Oh, um, yeah, man. Real quick. Yeah, man. I've been waiting on this day to bounce back. <laughs> That boy over there drinking that Kool Aid like boy, that's like that Kool Aid. Oh man, and the fly got in it too. <laughs> Wouldn't make for me to have. <laughs> man, the fly got in it. Then me in. The baby laughing at me and everything. Yep, then me in. <laughs> yes, sir. He didn't need it. Yep, I didn't need it. Exactly what that was. Right you know, leave it right there anyway. Woo, got all my clothes, man. Got everything. Hey, but you on the property, though. Uh, it's the weekend, man. What y'all got planned for the weekend? 
Man, I'll be, I'll probably just tell you truth, bro. Just be, uh, you know, on this YouTube stuff. And basically, I'll probably just do a lot of reading and stuff. You know, I got to get my spirituality out of the way, right? Because I'm trying to switch my vocabulary. And for the last few days, but today is day number five. I've been really getting all the pain and stuff out of my heart. So I'm going to just keep working on that. I don't need to live with no hatred, you know, and and I'm getting to the point where it don't even matter what anybody did to me, baby. You know what I mean? I just got to keep pushing this ride. And so, you know, yeah, so I'm just be doing a lot of meditation and stuff, you know, just basically that's what I'm going to be on. That's how you I would like to go out and I would like to go out and kick it. You know, I would like to have friends and stuff, but, you know, it is what it is, baby. What you got in yeah. front of the end, bro? <sighs> Pulling up. Yeah. What you got in front of the uh, I gotta take the kids to the pool party tomorrow. Then Sunday, I'm back at the job site. On a Sunday? Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all, y'all open Monday? Y'all open for Memorial Day? Yeah, this one don't never close. They trying to get that money ready. Oh, oh, okay. I get, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. That's what I want to talk about. Uh, I asked on her. Uh, what I asked you earlier about people, you know what I'm saying? As far as people passing or people dying in the hands of officers, mental health problems. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, that yeah, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like that, man. A lot of our people do suffer from mental illness. Them police officers know they know they tactics what they're using is dead wrong. Them, them people, a lot of them people didn't train them people to do that to the citizens when they come in there. Like just you know, what I mean, a lot of these officers take it upon their heart doing it because they got evil and racism in their heart anyway. I wish I would have wrote the brother's name, but I was listening to a video earlier on Instagram and it was a brother. He had a name, and ten officers, ten officers tried to restrain him. For like I think for like eleven minutes, and then he stopped moving. He stopped breathing. Come on, man! But it took ten minutes to hold his brother down. Ten officers killed this man. That need to be ten officers fired because out of ten of y'all, eleven of y'all don't. Out of ten, eleven of y'all, not one of y'all got common sense. That's what I'm saying. Like this shit don't make sense. But then, uh. See, when I talk about other towns, we also got to remember what happened here in our own backyard. Joshua Beret was another one. Yeah. His, his mother had called and told him that her son didn't take his medicine, and he had left the house with, with, with a knife. Uh -huh. uh, not not Nafee, what's that, Shells? Oh, yeah, Shells. Okay, well, he was in there, and when he came out, he came out with a knife in hand. And TPD killed him. But he had a mental illness. And his mother told him he, he didn't take his medicine. He was he, he had a mental illness. And so they know I remember that too. I remember that too. That brother was way on four six and everything walking and stuff. Yeah. I remember that too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so they know these things and they still and then they would like uh they'll swoop into the rug and try to act like it didn't happen or it doesn't mm -hmm. work. And so as I was talking to Brother uh, Scotty in the last one, here in Tulsa, bro, again, from DeAndre Starks, Jeremy Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Joshua Wilbur-Ray, Eric Harris, uh, Robert Harris. Uh, Rest in peace. That was my guy, dude, Dark. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And many others, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. We there's that that's more than five, or it may be five, but there was others in the state of Oklahoma, you know, in Oklahoma City and other places, you know what I'm saying? Throughout yeah, my, 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 my brother is a victim to getting killed by the police. So but the, yeah, in peace, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. we don't respond here unless it's something in a whole other area, something to go on 
nationwide where where the masses is responding. We got our own problem. A, a, a lot of our people uh, at Tulsa just they want to swept up under the rug too, because the life that's lived is you know we've been taught some things you just don't speak about, just sweep it under the rug. And you know what I mean? And that's just, you know, that's just what the people been told. Like, we really been raised wrong. Like, okay, say for instance, like, when you was younger, and your people, if you came in the house before that, before that light, before that uh, street light came on, you got beat. That, that, that's a syndrome that, that we learned from slavery too. That our, people, sundown town. We, we that our people sundown did on us. That our people did on us. I used to get beat. Like and, and they didn't even know what they was doing. It just it just been passed down to us for so many generations. Uh, the old, the old, the old. No, that's because that's because that's just too That's because back in the day, black people. That's that yeah. me and me and Akuna was just talking about this not too long ago. Them sun downtowns. Mm -hmm. Remember, Kuno, we was just talking about them sundown towns in Oklahoma. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we, that's why our parents started telling us we got to come in by the streetlight because back in the day, back in the day, they didn't have no streetlights and black people was walking around. They started coming up missing. And then the next day, they'll find them hung in a tree. KKK members was hanging them at night when they catch them slipping, walking around. So they the people that seen that and they, they raised our parents or our, our grandparents and they raised they our parents like that that's where they came from they handed it down you better come on with a street light come on because it's too dark yeah. they don't know who might come through and do something to you so it kind of got scared us again like that in Tulsa when they had that black friday with the indian and the white man come on they, they killed my, they killed my killing partner in mississippi he was a victim to that a lot so a lot of black people then when that happened they start telling their kids uh -huh. back again when you better be home yeah. before the street like come on because that's that happened so that's where they come on you better you gonna be better be home before the street like come on are you gonna get beat because you rather get beat by your people than killed by a clan yeah. that's where that shit came yeah uh, i did a video on my platforms last year when i first started but uh i talk about all the all black towns and, uh, I went into the downtown. There was, was a book called The Green Book. That, that it was a, it was called The Green Book. It was a book that a brother had wrote. I forgot his name, but it, it was called The Green Book. And he had gave people the routes to be careful of through, going through sundown towns. It was like a map for black people's safety. You know what I'm saying? They put inside a book. You know what I'm saying? They let people know like, don't go this way or don't go that way because. If you get caught in, in this area at this time, this is what's going to happen to you. Right. It could happen to you. Right. But it's but when, but when we look at the history, because they paint this narrative as if so-called black people are just these violent, angry, vicious people, right? But as, as I'm listening, as we talking and I'm thinking about it, we look at the history. Who was picking dogs on people? Who was feeding your children to the alligators? Come on, who, who was uh, spraying them with the water hose? Who was lynching? Come on, man. Who was raping and who was throwing people over, throwing babies over the boat? Who was cutting people's bellies open? Come on, feeding they Feeding they infants to the Lynch, sharks and stuff. Lynch, all type of stuff. Who lynched a woman while she was pregnant, cut her open, and stomped on her baby while, when the baby fell out her stomach? Come on, man. That's just pure evil. But they say we're the evil people. This this is the narrative that's promoted. You see what I'm saying? That they use that tactic. Oh, that's straight narcissist to the full. That's where narcissism comes from, now. That's narcissist to the fullest, bro. And then they sit back and play victim. Oh, we don't know why they're so angry. Oh, look at them and all that type of stuff. You know, they want to sweep our our story under the rug. Or they yeah, of course the whole the whole world you know, do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? They they feel the yeah. skyline. This is community convo. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna talk about everything on this motherfucker. Because everything yeah, needs to be talked. Definitely. Everything needs to be talked about. That's why we're gonna talk about everything. You know what I'm saying? Another, if we can talk about it now, we can get into it in the future. We can talk about domestic violence in the state of Oklahoma. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's a problem. Oklahoma. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I got to do it. It's still like slavery in Louisiana, certain parts of Louisiana, in the South that people don't even know about. Come on, bro. Mississippi, that, uh, Memphis, uh, I think yeah. the video, uh, I think in Mississippi they had like 300 some inmates, uh, buried in behind the penitentiary. That the families come on, man, didn't even know where they was at. Yeah, they didn't even know what was going on, no nothing. And that's yeah. another thing, too, that I like when people go, like when your loved ones go to the pen, it, like people forget about you, man. It's just, it's just a war, it's just a war. It's like a war, it's a battle, man, and it's like. We fighting a war to free ourselves, but yet we have a lot of our people who just don't understand. A war, man. It's within a war. It's within a war. It's within man, a war. Man, and it's and it, it gets tiresome. That's that's why I reason I had to step back for a while. It just get tiresome. It'll drive you crazy if you feel like you don't have no help. Because even you even, know, even but, the is like we'll we'll, we'll we'll argue with each. And my my apologies for cutting you out, but we'll argue with each other all yeah. day long. I'm talking about, and I ain't even speaking on just, just fuck it. We'll argue all day long, and we can't come with a conclusion to a solution to fix whatever the issue may be. Right. And we die right. over the simplest, dumbest shit. Right. When I was in, what was it, like maybe three years ago? Somebody got shot at over a fucking chicken sandwich at Burger King. Huh. Over a fucking chicken sandwich, bro. You, you shoot the you shoot the employee over a fucking sandwich. Come on, man. We in bad we in a bad shape, bro. Yeah. You don't need everything you find like, outside. Again, oh, no. I was talking about how in our community they say all right, we're supposed to be on we'll have ARs, Max, Chicago niggas got grenade launchers. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking yeah. everything you need to go to war, but then they gonna use it against each other. But when the police kill us, no, justice, no peace. Yeah. Uh, don't shoot. Yeah. No justice, no peace. This is the mind of a slave, bro. I'm gonna give you some game, bro. During, think about a slave plantation. You had a slave master, his wife, the overseers, maybe been like two or three overseers. You know what I'm saying? Then you had the slaves, your workers. You know what I'm saying? A nine to five, a job, right? Right. You got corporate, HR, your supervisors, and then the workers. Right. Now, on the plantation, you had slave master, his wife, and the overseer. So maybe five people, right, at the max. Right? Right. But right. you had two to three hundred slaves. And not one would stand up. Five people in control of three hundred people. And not one would stand up. Would stand up. That's right. I'm not promoting a riot. I'm not promoting let's go turn the city up or nothing like that. More closer, right? Let's just say it's 25,000, 30,000 people in North Tulsa. Right? Let's just say, right? It's only 15 officers. 15 officers. We're destroying each other. we killing each other. That are going no, not one no, person to stand up against the system. Right. But when Matt say, go get my shotgun and go shoot that nigga. Uh, we're going to do that quick. You're going to go do it. Yeah, we're going to do that quick. But, yeah, we're going to. Yeah, man, I ain't going to hold it. Yeah, I got I to gotta finish this editing. But uh, yeah, man. Give us, you got, you got a shout out, bro. We gonna, we gonna have you on a couple more episodes. We gonna have you on. We gonna, you, we gonna see more. You know what I'm saying? So let the people know who you. Most are. Uh, my name is Andre Shabazz Bay. Um, basically, you can reach me through reaching the brother Kunu Bay, and uh, I just want to say peace and love, and I just want to give a shout out. 
basically just to all the like-minded people you know what i mean keep it keep it conscious uh you know and uh also those who practice spirituality like uh yeah like you know we need your help in this battle too they go hand in hand you know what i mean you know because truth is it is withhold truth is with me uh revealed everywhere you know what i mean and uh we need to come together you know what i mean but far as our people you know what i mean we need to be more like-minded of what we do to each other uh, and, and what we say to each other and you know what i mean let's try to love and respect each other a little bit more you know what i mean and let's keep let's keep this thing more power baby because that's what we were that's our birthright so you know you know talk about it, man so we're gonna get together on the next one make sure y'all hit that subscribe button you know what I'm saying? Leave a comment. You know what I mean? Y'all got any questions? You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to jump on this? Come Y'all got anything y'all want to add to the convo? Holler at us. We'll, we'll, we'll bring y'all in. You know what I'm saying? Peace and love, bro. Great again, baby. <laughs> What'd you say, brother? You said, let's make great and wealthy again. That part, for real. Let's, let's, let's make it wealthy, man. Let's get back to the economic structure. Let's man, most definitely. Most definitely. Peace. Peace.